Hello everyone. In today's video I'm going to be taking you on a tour of my painting bag. Um, I use this one for travel but also just for keeping all my bits and pieces together. The bag is just a, a soft case which I got from a shop called uh, Moshi Moshi. It's a pretty cheap shop in the shopping mall uh, but the bag's not bad quality, it, it does the job for me. In the first compartment I keep my main palette. Um, I have a velcro divider just over the top of it to hold it in place so it doesn't move around the bag. Next I've got my little pouch of four travel brushes. The pouch itself came with four really cheap art secret travel brushes, they're pretty terrible quality. but. Now inside I've got a, a Skoda Perla, uh, my ZY Tang travel brush, a Sable mop, or they say it's Sable, and I've still got the cheapy flat brush. Next is my Magello Mission Silver palette. Now this is kind of my all-purpose palette, it, it has brighter colours than my usual Earths. Um, there's a mixture in there, there's some Rembrandt in there as well. Next I have my little expandable water pot. Um, I got this from another very cheap shop, I think it was 60 baht or something. Um, it doesn't hold a whole lot of water but if you're only doing a sketchbook painting or postcard size then it's more than enough. And next we've got my tasty pot which is a little pot that I just use to store my eraser. Um, I keep it in a pot because it's a putty eraser so it can pick up dirt and get stuck to things. And finally on this side of the bag I've got this key looking thing which is a tube roller for rolling paint tubes and squeezing the last bits out. And now on the other side of the bag, I've got my white gouache. Well, I guess it says it's a white hybrid watercolour gouache paint. It's from Shinhan, called Shinhan Pass. Does the job for me, I'm very happy with it. And now onto my sketching materials. Um, the first pencil is really, really cheap. I got it from Shopee for way less than a pound I think and that came with leads too um, it's a two millimeter retractable uh, I, I quite like the design it's comfortable to use it's really quite amazing how cheap you can get things for these days and next is my favorite pencil it's my Stadler Mars Technico again it's a two millimeter this one's a clutch pencil uh, yeah I really like the design very comfortable to use and just a great workhorse. Then we have this little pencil which again is a 2mm. This is a Koei Noor Versatil uh, 5608 is the model. Um, I like this one, it's very very small so can easily fit in your pocket. And both the Stedler and the Koei Noor have lead pointers in the um, caps so you don't need to carry a sharpener with you. And this is my Tachikawa dip pen. Uh, the nib in it is a Tachikawa G nib. It's the only nib I use because it does the job for me. Um, I've also tried a similar one with the rubber grip, but I, I much prefer this one. I think it looks nicer and it's more comfortable to use for me. I have this cap for it, which came from an old Chinese brush and luckily it fits perfectly. Um, I had to put a cap on it because I managed to stab myself a couple of times while rummaging in the bag. Uh, next is my fountain pen. Now, this doesn't get as much use at the moment as it should just because I don't have any waterproof fountain pen ink. As you can see it's a Fude nib and it's a Duke 209. Yeah, The, the build quality is actually quite nice because it's it's a really cheap fountain pen um, and it's quite small easy to handle yeah I, I like it a lot so 
I'll have to get some ink. So next to the two pens that I use for most of my line work when sketching, they're both completely waterproof. Uh, this one is the Uniball Micro Deluxe. So it has a, a pretty fine line. I like that one a lot. The other one is the Uniball Fine Deluxe. So it has a slightly thicker line than the Micro. Not a lot thicker, but enough. And next we've got this leaf shaped piece of plastic. What it's actually for is to separate the sheets on a watercolor block. It's, it says Turner on it, block leaf. Uh, I, I just used a knife or a ruler before, but I damaged a few paintings that way. So I ended up buying this and yeah, it's great. And now we have another pen. This is a Stadler. It says Lumo color is permanent. Um, I don't use this one for sketching, this is just for if I need to label anything. Like if I put some paint in a pan and just want to write the name of the colour or whatever. And next are my pencil leads. These are 2B and they're 2mm. Um, the brand of lead really doesn't matter to me, I just get whatever is on offer at the time. Um, from what I know about leads, and watercolor you don't want to get too hard lead because it can scratch the paper but you also don't want too soft because it can smudge everywhere once it gets wet and here I have my tiny little pencil sharpener this is a knockoff I think of a Faber Castell sharpener um, it does the job just fine and it's about 10 times cheaper And finally, I have these generic clips. I use these mainly for attaching paper to a board. I used to use tape, but I grew tired of that very quickly. It's just much easier to just clip it. So that's everything out of the bag. Uh, you have these Velcro dividers inside, which you can configure any way you like. I just have them like this because it holds my palettes in place quite nicely. Stops them moving around. Um, the bag isn't amazing quality. I'm sure it's not going to last me forever. But it does keep everything nicely together. Oh, one thing I forgot to show was where I keep my larger brushes. Uh, this roll was originally for some Chinese brushes. But I poked this elastic through and now it holds these brushes pretty securely. Uh, so from right to left I've got a Skoda Ultimo mop brush which is a size 18. Then I've got another Skoda Ultimo mop brush but a size 10. Then I've got uh, a Skoda Versatile, I think that's size 12. Uh, then it's a Skoda Perla but that's size 10. And then I've got two Sekai riggers, you know, for fine line work. So what about you? Are you someone who likes to keep all their materials nicely organized? Or are you more of a chuck it in the drawer and forget about it type person? I must admit that this bag is pretty much the only organized part of my art materials. The rest are scattered around all over the place. Yeah, it's definitely something I need to fix. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my painting bag. Um, if you've got any questions about anything inside it, then just leave them in the comments. And as usual, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you again in the next video. Bye.